Cross Gun at Infinite is an infinite bullet hell shmup for Pico 8. Let's give it a look. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you lovely people. Today's game is called Cross Gunner Infinite and it's by the developer called Actane. This is version 1.7 of Cross Gunner. It started out life last year as Cross Gunner DX and it has been updated um, about how many days ago was it published? 19 days ago? Updated 8 days ago. So. It's been updated and added to since last year, and now we are giving it a look on my channel. So, this game was made by Actane with sprites by Helicity Bolson. Um, I wish I could post some links to socials and things for these people, but I can't. If you can find them on Twitter, let me know where they are so I can give them a follow. Here we are on the title screen where we have the different game modes available to us. We have got normal where you have one life basically to um, get through as many levels as you can to score as many points as you can. There's my high score, um, pathetic. There are people posting scores on itch which are far in excess of that, so don't expect high level play. You should have got used to that by now from me. Uh, we've got boss rush where you just fight the bosses. Strangely, I've managed to do better on that than I have on normal. Practice. Um, we've got practice modes for both normal and boss rush. They let select levels. And, oh, there are many levels. <laughs> oh, there are many levels. I've not, um, I've seen three of them so far. Let's play through normal. Let's see what this game actually is about. You can see in the background there, we have got some absolutely bonkers um, Starfield goings on here. Let's um, give it a look. You can see here, this is an interesting little feature that's been added, uh, release caravan winners. So, I'm not the biggest expert on shmup terminology. I've watched Laser Devs Academy's video on shmup terminology, which um, I learned a lot from. Now, I believe a caravan is like a shmup tournament, and um, Actane organised this tournament for his game, and these are the people who came top. So, Kabito scored 694,000 points. Um, let's just look at how many I scored in normal. 15,000. So, um, yeah, there are some very skilled people playing this over on itch. Um, anyway, the top scorers in each category have um, been immortalised in the game. What a cool idea. Let's give the game a look then. So, let's play some normal. I am normal. We've got a countdown. Okay. This is a bullet hell shmup. We have got lots of bullets to dodge. We have got lots of bullets to fire. If you take a hit like that, then <laughs> you can take two hits and then you die. Um, yeah, if you suck at this game, you will die a lot. Um, I'm gonna be struggling to talk about this game and play it at the same time, as usual. I'll try my best though. So yeah, as I was about to say before I got hit, you can take one hit, then the screen changes colour to tell you that you're on your last life. Um, there are, don't worry, there are health power-ups you can pick throughout the game if you um, if you survive long enough, that is. And you seen there, I had a kind of orbiting um, effect there. That's my X attack, which is basically your bomb attack. A screen clearing attack does quite a bit of damage and is very useful for when you're fighting the boss. This is the boss, and I just took a hit. But it's fine because I did that. I did the X attack, and then I picked up health, you see? There is a rhythm to this game which you can um, you can learn. Oh, that's so intense. Oh, I'm so bad at these games. Um, oh. Fortunately, you will die a lot, but you can very quickly get back into the game. There's very, it's a very quick kind of turnaround between games, which is nice. And um, yeah, it's like a single kind of run sort of game, I suppose. Um, very simple mechanics, as I've already said. We've got two hits, two hits and you're dead. That's right. You've got power-ups. Um, the options are quite interesting, aren't they? Options, by the way, those are like your little kind of helper things that fire alongside you. 
normally options are kind of next to your ship or maybe in front of it or orbiting around it but in this game the um you can see them floating around at the side there and that's a, a nice interesting spin on the option oh i'm rubbish at this game um it's you can see that one of the options kind of fires kind of across the screen sort of in front of where you are that's to encourage you to get further up the screen i think um so that you can do more damage obviously you can do a lot of damage to enemies if you're directly in front of them but that's quite challenging as you've seen because you have to um you have to dodge in an effective way oh my god these bosses um i am getting pushed back into the corners now doing very little damage to the boss you can see as soon as i get a bit further up i start to get some more hits in and that's what we want i was lucky there to get a next attack off that um saved my skin the um the gameplay is frenetic the graphics are um colorful and slightly mad the music is um bonkers and um, this boss music is very odd but i kind of like it i do like the music on the normal levels oh was that a waste possibly we're on level two now so i'm i'm sort of breaking new ground here and um, i don't get to level two very often it might all be going um yeah <laughs> Anyway, that was, wow, that was a high score. Fantastic. So, you can see, it is possible to improve at this game, slowly. Um, the game's pretty kind of abstract. There isn't a story. <laughs> it's a bullet hell, it's an infinite bullet hell shmup. Um, don't expect a story. Um, the stories in, in shmups are usually, you need to destroy everything. I'm imagining that's the backstory of this game. I don't know. Is there an expanded universe of Cross Gunner? Is there a kind of a, a law? I don't know. I'm joking, of course. Um, let's have a look at Boss Rush. Boss Rush, then. Um, boss Rush. You fight the bosses. You've played games before, right? You know how it works. Um, let's give it a look. <laughs> I do like the intro at the beginning, where. Um, it kind of gets you ready. The little countdown there. Very arcadey. Oh, this is wrong. I'm looking. I'm looking in the OBS window. I'm not looking at the screen. This is a mistake. I seem to be doing okay though. As you can see, the um, bosses have quite the intricate bullet attack pattern. Um, the game is quite. Forgiving. The game is quite forgiving when it comes to um, health pickups. You can see, you seem to kind of, I seem to get to a point where I'm kind of cornered. And then if I can just dodge a little bit, I can um, last long enough to pick up the next health power up to keep you in, in the game. Um, that's really good, that. That's really good game design. Because, um, it's very easy to make a bullet hell shmup, which is just an unforgiving, miserable time. Um, this game is not that, because, like I say, Actane's done a pretty decent job, I think, designing a nice challenge. Look at these bullet patterns. Oh my. Oh, whoa, did I use my X attack there? Oh, I did, I kind of wasted that. Um, I do like boss rush mode. Maybe because it's slightly easier. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Boss rush mode is usually the um, the hardest bit. Oh, we've got a big X attack. Now, in true bullet hell fashion, when you use the X attack to um, clear out the screen, you get all those cool little gold medals that give you... Oh my god. I think, is this the end boss? I've heard that there's an absolutely enormous boss at the end of the game. Is this it? Maybe? Wow. That's incredible. I've never got that far before. That's, that can't be the end boss, can it? This game's much harder than that. <laughs> I don't know. 
there you go, you just see me, um, look at that, 31,000. Blew my previous score out of the water, fantastic. Um, if you're interested in playing Cross Gunner, there is a link over on Itch, where you can play it there. You can um, download the game and support the developer by making a donation. You should do that. Um, there's also You can also play the game on the BBS over on Splore. I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, this is a very fun little game. Um, a little bit of interesting um, kind of trivia about it. One of the special thanks is for Lazy Devs Academy. I think um, this isn't based on it. Lazy Dev Academy's um, shmup tutorial series, the um, tutorial series which carries on paying dividends. Um, there have been so many cool games coming from that tutorial series. Um, I'm sure there will be many more. Um, yeah, um, this game was kind of made with the assistance of Lazy Devs Academy's Discord, so there must be a lot of shmup fans over there interested in Pico 8, and I think you can see that in this game. Um, wow, that is an intense screen. <laughs> um, you can't say this game is um, is minimal, is it? It's definitely This is definitely a maximal game. Um, let's give it one more bash on normal, I think. See if I can... Um, See if I can score more than 19,000. Probably not. <laughs> it's so intense. Um, the um, graphics then. I haven't really mentioned the graphics very much. The, the bonkers. The bullets are all kind of very um, brightly coloured. Um, it does take a little while to kind of get your eye into the game to kind of spot the um, what the bullets are. You can see those gold boxes coming down from above. Those, those have power-ups in. Um, you want to collect those if you can. Oh, it's, this looks absolutely mental, this game, doesn't it? Um, this was recommended to me, this game, by Wesley Aikson, one of my followers over on Twitter. So, thanks for the recommendation. Um, this, is, this is the sort of game I want to play on Pico White. Um, I don't tend to like Bullet Hell shoot ups all that much, but this, this one's good. This is a really good one. Um, yeah, my Bullet Hell shmup um, enjoyment begins and ends with Giga Wing. I love Giga Wing. Um, I'm terrible at them, though. Right, I said one more game, but now I am saying, once again, one more game. Because that was a rubbish game. I didn't get very far in that one. Yeah, so the graphics by Helicity. I like the animation on the ship. There's a nice kind of tilt to the ship when you move. The movement of the ship as well, very, very clean. There's no momentum, there's no um, there's no weirdness with the movement. It's very precise. Um, if you crash into a bullet, it is your fault. It's not the control scheme's fault. Oh God, this boss music. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what the uh, red things coming towards my ship there are. I think that is like a damage indicator when you hit when you hit um, the boss, I think. It took me a while to get my head around that. Very busy graphics in this game, but good gameplay. Worth a look. Um, go and check it out over on Itch, as I've said, or on Splore. Anyway, I'm not going to take any more of your time. Um, Cross Gunner Infinite by Actane. Give it a look. And uh, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you again very soon.